question. We like, first of all, to say how grateful we are here in Algeria and the invitation of the Solidarity Committee of Algeria with the people of Western Sahara. And we also to say that to, to introduce our society, Kenya Western Sahara Friendship Society, which was formed in 2009. And I am the chairperson of the Western Sahara, Kenya Western Sahara French Society. And he is the, at the committee for Kenya Western Sahara French Society. So he came with us to city and we are supporting the people of Western Sahara. Your detailed question, let him start answering that, then we go. <laughs> Thank you for the introduction. Basically, uh, if it is the mandate which the US proposed on uh, inclusion of human rights issues on uh, the mandate of the UN, then for us we support it. But uh, the bottom line is that we support the total freedom of Western Sahara from Morocco. Not just the UN mandate on uh, increasing the human rights and all that. We want total freedom uh, from Morocco. We want them to have the referendum since this uh, referendum organization of the UN was mandated to organize for the referendum and for the past 20 years it has never organized it. So basically we support the, the inclusion of uh, human rights issues even though we also realize that uh, it was not very clear on the, on, on the mandate of the UN organization to deal with the human rights issues, but at least the word is there and uh, it's, a, it's some progress in as much as it is not enough. Mm. And we are also saying it should not be a matter of double standards and even we are calling on, upon uh, President Barack Obama who happens also to have some originality in Kenya that really the question of Western Sahara is a matter of decolonization. Western Sahara is the last colony in Africa and it should be dealt as such that the United States of America should act and put more pressure against Morocco to, to make it straight that Morocco is a colonial power in Western Sahara. It is violating the human rights of the people of Western Sahara. They are also exploiting the resource, natural resources of Western Sahara and that is, this should stop and this should be handled exactly how the situation of East, East Timor was handled in Indonesia. That is, the people of Western Sahara should be given the uh, uh, right to self-determination of the country. Conditions inside Western Sahara. So basically that's it. But the bottom, but the bottom line is uh, the committee should carry out its mandate for the referendum. But again, the proposal by the U.S. to include human rights as a as one of the mandates of the uh, organization was good in as much as it was cut down and uh, it's not as strong as we wanted it to be. Appreciate what Algeria has been doing to, uh, in support of Western Sahara. We also understand that this is a matter of colonization. It is a matter of principle. Uh, Algeria was under the French colonialism for many years and they fought for their freedom. It is only good that them also they fight uh, for the freedom, they support for the freedom of Western Sahara. And even us in Kenya, we were under colonialism of uh, the British. And uh, it took very many years for us to fight uh, against them and we won our independence. So it is the duty of every principled country to support Western Sahara and we really appreciate the fact that Algeria has been at the forefront of supporting uh, for the total uh, independence of the Western Sahara people since that is their right. In fact, we just really applaud the position of Algeria, which has been very principled because Algeria has supported decolonization in Africa in the morally and the material. They supported even the liberation of Southern Africa, Mozambique, Angola, 
all where there have been decolonization, Algeria put on resources, they even trained the armed people to, to struggle for independence in their countries, and they, uh, we are very happy that they continue with this position now in relation to the people of Western Sahara. And in fact, we are calling upon our government, that is our duty as Kenya Western Sahara Friendship Society, we call against the Kenya government now to go to the African Union and to really champion the cause of the people of Western Sahara and to put it that it is one of the most important questions we have now. Because this is the last colony in Africa and people should not continue being being moved around and round by Morocco and the bribery which Morocco government tries to bribe African countries should stop. We want really the African Union to take the matter of Western Sahara as the most important question so that they finish with the decolonization. In fact, we are angry that the African Union still takes it casually because they are, they, there is more talk than action against the Morocco and for the people of Western Sahara. Right now is uh, solidarity. What is the biggest thing that uh, we can offer as the Kenya Sahara, Sahara Friendship Association? Uh, to champion uh, for them in our in, uh, in our country, so that our government recognizes and also champions uh, for the right of self-determination of the Sahrawi people, just like the Algerian government is doing. So for us, it's solidarity and engagement with our government and uh, campaign in all the outlets that we have, including social media, our websites, and all the avenues that we have, so that people may be aware of the issues and they may uh, uh, also participate in fighting for the total independence of Western Sahara from uh, the, the Moroccan uh, colonial. It's also to tell what we have actually done up to now. One of these is that we have registered Kenya Western Sahara Friendship Society. It is registered in the laws of Kenya as a society. And membership actually is open to various political parties in Kenya and various interests. And we have people coming from all walks of life, from human rights activists, political activists. We also have members of parliament. We also have people who are working in, in various professionals, engineers, businessmen, personalities, different types of people. And we have done many activities, we have had many meetings in Nairobi and given, trying to educate the Kenyan people with the question of Western Sahara. And then also, even if we organize the African Union, you now Africa Day, during Africa Day, like this is now 25th May, we are going to put the, the issue of Western Sahara, the most important, we have discussed when we are celebrating African Day on 25th May. And also, we are also members of the political party, we belong to the Socialist Party of Kenya, the Social Democratic Party of Kenya, I'm the national chairperson, he is the secretary general of the party. And we belong now to what we call Africa Left Network Forum, where African leftist parties we meet from South Africa, Mali, wherever, Cameroon, and in the last meeting which we had in the Bamako, Congress of the African Left Network Forum, we had a resolution we pushed as a Kenya Western Sahara Friendship Society. We pushed a resolution to discuss the issue of Western Sahara. And that resolution we are going to give to you tomorrow, actually, because we are with you. And we actually we adopted it, we made it be adopted by, by about 30 political parties who are present there. They have adopted it and they pushed it through. These are some of the things we are going to do. But the most urgent thing we are doing in our country, because our country, we found our government will betray the people of Western Sahara through the pressure of Morocco, through bribery. One of the ministers did it there and they removed the officer there. So we are militantly struggling and demanding the government of Kenya to take the position of African Union and the position of IGAD and the position of East African communities and open up and allow the offices of embassy of Polisario and Western Sahara to open up. We are saying uh, we have a new government which has been there for less than two months now. 
and uh, on the position of Pan-Africanism, it looks like it has a progressive position. And as a society, we feel that uh, once we raise the matter with the new government and the new president, most likely he will uh, give support, the necessary support to Western Sahara. But we are not yet sure because uh, we have not tried it, but we feel that it will be uh, much easier than it was with the, with the older government and the older ministers. One week ago, we had a meeting with a few uh, members of parliament uh, who are in the committee, or parliamentary committee of foreign affairs, and uh, they promised that they would raise the issue in parliament, and they would also raise the issue with the minister, the new minister of uh, foreign affairs. So we are very hopeful that uh, it will go on as, as, we, as, we, as we like. Actually, we are very through the internet, we are able to see what is happening. First, we, we, we very much applaud and encourage the people of Western Sahara to intensify those kind of democratic struggles, human rights struggles. You know there will be a lot of costs because even in, through Pahari Passport, even in our own country, you know a regime, brutal regime, dictatorship, a colonial regime with all these brutal methods to silence the people. But if the people accept the culture of silence imposed by a brutal regime, then they are going to lose. So we are even very happy to see that the people are coming. But then once more, then these are the things also which we are going to call us as our society, upon our government and friends and whatever, to ask people to use all forums, whether it is Ban Ki-moon. Ban Ki-moon, the Secretary General of the United States of America, should make a very strong voice against Morocco, just as he makes voices against about regimes like that one of North Korea, or a small thing happens in North Korea and then it speaks very loud. This is a very brutal thing which the Morocco regime is doing and a very strong voice to condemn what the, the violation of the human rights of the people of Morocco should be done. The United States of America and the, their allies from Western, they should also make very strong actually. It will be double standard if the United States of America can downplay peaceful demonstration where people are, are violated, killed, injured, imprisoned, arrested, they are making those and then the world community and, uh, and uh, the press is also keeping down. But then what we are asking, people of Western Sahara, they should, they should go on with all the, regardless of what the media is doing. Because the Western media has always betrayed the people struggling for liberation. But whether they like it or not, the people of Western Sahara should intensify those kind of mass actions.